Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how to manage your Windows 10 updates. Now, Microsoft change how you receive your uh, Windows 10 updates all the time, and they change the settings area. So I wanted to go through and show you how you can basically block, disable, or turn on uh, updates to manual rather than having them set to automatic. So let's first go to the start and the settings pane here. Inside here, we're going to go to update and security. And this is where you would receive your updates from Microsoft. Now, you, at the moment, by default, you have no control over it. And Microsoft will roll out updates whenever they see fit. And uh, they will come down in the background. And you can control them a little bit with some of the settings inside here. And I'll show you basically how you can uh, do that. OK, so let's talk about active hours to reduce disruptions first. This is this area here. This is to allow you to regulate when Microsoft rolls out updates in a certain time frame so it doesn't disrupt any sort of work that you may be doing at a certain time. So you can set in a certain time period uh, which suits you for Microsoft to roll out those updates. So to change your active hours, just toggle it off. And then you should see the change icon here where you can click on this and this will allow you to change your active hours for when you want to receive uh, updates during these active hours. So you can see start time and also end time is there. Once you've got those set, you can click save and then toggle this back on to automatically adjust the active hours and this will suit your needs. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to use that option. There is other ways of pausing and actually permanently stopping automatic updates which we'll cover also in this video so let's move on to the next step which is pausing your updates for seven days here so you can see here there is this button here this is only going to pause updates for seven days which i think is literally pointless because most people do want to pause for longer periods when you click on this it will pause updates for that period of time after the seven days it will resume automatic updates and it will roll out those updates. So you've only got a seven day period before it will resume those updates. Or unless you click on the resume updates button, which will then resume the automatic updates for Windows 10. So just bear that in mind. OK, and I think this option is available for Windows 10 Home. So when you click on resume updates, updates will resume as normal or after the seven day period, those updates will continue as normal. So there is an option area here for optional updates here. And you can see these are driver updates and a bunch of other optional updates that you don't have to update if you don't wish. But if you find something in there that is going to resolve a problem or maybe something you may need, then you can roll out those optional updates as well. Now, you also notice this view update history. This is for your update history. And now we're going to take a look at advanced options. Well, to be honest, there's not that much advanced options in here. There is another paused area here for pro users, which allows you to pause updates for up to 35 days. And that is it. You can't do any more than 35 days. Once you've paused this, you will need to then continue with your automatic updates. And then you can then pause for another 35 days after that is to make sure that you are receiving updates from Microsoft and you'll only have a limit of 35 days here and then it will roll out updates automatically. And then once the update is finished updating, you can then go back in here and pause it again. It's a bit pointless if you ask me if you want to pause for a little bit longer, but 35 days is better than seven. And you can set that by the select date here uh, by using the drop down arrow and literally choosing the option right at the very end here, which will give you the full 35 days and then you can then check it out. Let me just go back here and we'll see what it looks like. You can see here it also tells you that it's uh, blocking these updates up until this point. Now, when I click on resume updates, it will automatically toggle that switch back off and back to default settings, which will then go back to automatic updates. So that is your options right there. There is some other areas here like delivery optimization which i've already uh, sorted out here in the group policy but you can also mess around with that area there and we've also got update notifications here so show notifications when the pc requires a restart uh, to finish updating that is off but if you want to toggle that on you can do by just using the little rocker button here to toggle these on you've got the update options here these don't really do much apart from received updates for 
other Microsoft uh, products when you update Windows. You can toggle that on if you wish or leave it off. And there's some other areas like download updates, uh, over metered connections, uh, extra charges may apply. And that is off here. And again, we've got the restart this device as soon as possible. And you can basically have that toggled on and it will restart straight away. If you don't want that to happen, then leave that off and it will stop that happening. Now, there is some more advanced areas for Windows 10 Pro users, which is the group policy editor, which Windows 10 Home users don't have the ability to use unless uh, they upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. So let's go ahead and open up the group policy editor to take a look how we can control our Windows 10 updates. So go down to the search box if you're on Windows 10 Pro above and put GP edit inside here and then edit the group policy editor. This will allow us to open up this pane here, which we can now uh, open this right up. So let me just extend this open so you can see more of what I'm actually doing here. So inside here, this gives us full control of our computer and what actually happens to it. And this is one of the main reasons why I tell people to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro, because you get much more control over what is happening with your PC. You can block a lot of stuff, disable a lot of stuff, and it just gives you a much more better user experience on Windows 10. So you can see here, this is the local group policy editor. It's broken down into two sections, which is computer configuration and also user configuration here. So let's go to the computer configuration area, and we're going to then go down to where it says administrative templates, open this up here, and this will have a little drop down. So let's just open it up. And on here, we're going to be looking for Windows components. So click on this and then drop the arrow down. Let me just extend this open so you can see a little bit more of what's going on here. And what we need to do now is scroll down and we're going to go to where it says Windows Update. Click on Windows Update and on the right hand pane here, which is our settings pane here, we can now make changes. We're looking for the configure automatic updates and this is for Windows 10. Uh, pro users so we can double click on this and open this up so let's go ahead and uh, make some changes to this so we click on the, the actual item here and this will open up another box which shows you now the configuration automatic updates now by default it's uh, not configured but if you do want to configure it you can actually go into the enable feature and then enable this and allow you to configure more control over your Windows 10 updates. So let's click on the enable feature here. Now there is a disabled bit, which we'll cover in a second. Just want to go through the enabled uh, part here. So click on enable and I'll just expand this box out so you can see more information of what it actually does. So once you're in the enabled feature, it will allow you to configure the automatic updates. So it's still on automatic updates and you can see here, notify for download and inst auto install auto download and notify for install, auto download and schedule for install, and also allow local admin to choose the setting and also auto download, notify to install or notify to restart. So there are your options available in the automatic updating area here. There's also install during automatic maintenance and you can set this up on a scheduled install day and also time. You can set it up inside here and you can do it via every week first week of the month, second week of the month, third week and fourth week and install updates for other Microsoft products. This will roll out your automatic updates and it's all numbered here to let you know exactly what those updates mean and what they do. So take some time to read that. If you don't want to set this to enable automatic updates and set your own settings inside here, you can set it to disable. And what that means is it's basically going to turn off automatic updates. So it says if the status for this policy is set to disabled, any updates that are available on Windows updates must be downloaded and installed manually. To do this, search for up Windows updates using the start button. So basically that, that will allow you to disable automatic updates and it will only allow you to download those updates when you click on the check for updates button inside your settings panel. So go back to your settings update and security, and it will not roll out any of these updates until you click on the button here. And you can see at the top, some settings are managed by your organization. That will be you because you've set it all up and it won't do any updates until you click on check for updates here. And these will then pull these updates uh, down manually. And you can see here, view configured update section. 
and this is inside here. Now there is other areas here, which is Windows updates for businesses. There's some other areas in here, which you can set uh, for you if you wanted to do that. And these are select target featured update version, manage preview builds, also disable safeguard for feature updates and also uh, select quality updates. And then you've also got select the preview builds and feature updates when they're received. And you can go in here and mess around with these settings as well, if that's what you wanted to do. But basically that is the updates in a nutshell. It won't update until you click on this and it will only do these manually. So you won't be forced into updating Windows. Uh, you have full control, but just don't forget to click on the updates because every now and again, there is security updates that you will need and they won't come down unless you click on the check for updates button. Okay, so let's take a look for Windows 10 home users. They don't have the group policy editor. So what can they do? Well, they can use registry editor and software. I'll show you both of these options for Windows 10 home users, but you can use these methods also on Windows 10 Pro and above as well, if that is what you need to do. So what you need to do here is you need to go down to the search box and type in here, reg edit. Once you've done that, it, this will allow you to open up the registry editor just like so. So click on this and it will open up the registry editor. Once we've got the registry editor open, we need to go to a certain location. So we're going to be using uh, the H key local machine. That's where we're going to go to drop this arrow down. And we're going to also then go down to where it says software, drop that arrow down here. And then we're going to come all the way down here to where it says policies. You're looking for policies here. Click on this and then open this up and look for Microsoft. We can now open this up. And once we're inside here, we're looking for Windows. Inside the Windows tab, you'll see because we've set a policy in our group policy editor, you will see an area inside here, which is already set up for myself, which is Windows Update. Uh, because you're on Windows 10, home you won't have this folder here so you will need to create it and the way you do that is by right clicking on the windows key here and go into new key set up a new key this is blank but you would put windows update inside here just like this one here and this will create the windows update key i'm going to delete it because i've already got it because i've set up the group policy and it's put that folder inside there once you've got the Windows update, you can drop this down and you see there's another folder in here called AU. You're going to need to create that folder inside the Windows update folder, just like so. So right click on the Windows update folder and go new and then new key and then set that as AU, just like you see above. So I've got mine already, so I'm going to delete this, but you would need to create that and call it AU. Inside there, you'll see there is a D word 32 bit value called no auto update. And that is set to one, which means it's disabled the automatic updates. So you will need to create that file. And the way you do that is basically right click in the blank spot here, go new, and you will need to then go to new 32 bit value, D word 32 bit value. Click on that and it will create that file, name it no auto update, and then give it a value of one. OK, just like you see what I've got here. So the value is one. Double click on it and put a one in that box and you are now good to go. And it is set to manual update and not automatic update. It's that simple. If you don't want to mess around in the registry, just like you see here, and you find that a little bit daunting and you're new to computers and you don't want to use that, there is software which you can use, which I'll show you right now. And that software is called uh, Stop Updates 10. Basically, you can get it from this website here, and this will give you full control over your Windows 10 updates. It'll allow you to pause them and also it'll allow you to block them and stop them from coming down if that is what you want to do. Very simple and easy to do. You can see it here, and uh, you can pretty much do a soft block or a hard block depending on how you want to set it up. It stops Windows updates, stops false updates, stops annoying upgrade. Uh, notifications and also restore updates with one click very simple and easy to do with this software so if you don't want to mess around in the registry then you can use something like that well i hope that helps you understand on how to control and manage your windows 10 updates it's very simple and easy to do by just following those simple steps i just want to say a big special thanks to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Sorry, it's been a long one, but I just have to make sure that I covered all of the areas so you understand exactly 
what options you have and what options you don't have. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.